before I get started, I would like to say this anime had 26 episodes instead of the usual 10 to 12, so it took a bit to rewatch it. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. I usually don't say this, but it would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, before you go to the comments say, First anime is not cursed. Uh, it is, and it is cursed for the same reason that Nokotan is cursed. This anime is part shit post, part story. The surreal humor plays a big role in the show, and to list off some wacky things, a child gives a cat a red bandana so it can talk, she actually makes it. Guns are used casually to express anger. The same child who made it, she actually made a twist up humanoid with self-conscious emotions. Yeah, very, very uh, fucked up. Anyways, the show is built around goofy humor, and there's short clips that feature several times in each episode. I'll be talking about that later. The show starts off with two groups. They don't really interact much until the end. So there's the first group, which is three 16-year-olds. Yuko, the energetic moron, Mayo, she appears normal, but sometimes acts aggressive toward people. The final is Mai. She is very quiet and also very smart. So she doesn't really fit in the other two. I don't know why she hangs around them. Then the other group, the eight-year-old professor, Hakase, she makes inventions. One of them is Nano. Nano is Hakase's caretaker. Despite only being one year old, she looks like she should be in the 16-year-old group. Nano's pretty insecure about being an android. As I've mentioned before, this anime has short little moments of randomness. Well, that is partially because there's a show inside of a show. Yeah, that's right. The creators of Nichijo also make a manga called Helvetica Standard. Now, I have very minimal idea what that is, even. It's just a bunch of 30 second short clips shown. They're kind of comedic, but really just abstract. The quality is quite low of those animations, and it looks like a cardboard cutout animation, but pretty rushed. Thinking like South Park. Actually, that's an insult to South Park's animation. God damn, it's way better. Uh, there's other short clips. However, they usually revolve around the story. One of which is halfway through each episode, or every other episode, and Nano and Hakase have a short rock and paper scissors clip. This anime, like Nokotan, stands out from our school animes. While I don't feel it mocks the typical school tropes, I feel this show brings a whole new idea to school slice of life animes. And that is school slice of life animes can be funny and also center around more than just one group. This is actually one of the few animes where I prefer the English dubbed version over the Japanese version. Usually the voices don't sound right for the English, however, I feel that the English just feels slightly more accurate to the characters' voices than how I imagine them in my brain. I feel the cat's voice, Sakamoto, sounds way more funny. I like the English voice. I do not like the Japanese voice for that character. Uh, I think the high school group sounds more natural in English. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... Alright, so now i finished my rant. Let's get to rating this show. So, the animation was done in 2011, so I can't really judge it too harshly. I guess you could say I like the budget quality of the show, so I'll say it's an 8 out of 10. Now, on an entertainment scale, this is pretty funny. However, I feel that sometimes as if it's a bit over the top on the dramatical side. 8 out of 10. The characters are quite unique and silly goobers, and I like that. That's an 8 out of 10 there. So overall, I would say this anime is a solid 24 out of 30, or 8 out of 10. When I initially first watched the show back sometime in mid-sophomore year, I got the impression this show was half ship post, half story. For an anime that came out in 2011, and it's about 2000s, it's pretty strange. Anyways, that's all for today. Go comment cursed animes you'd like me to review. Peace.